Chair, it's a simple matter. Okay. And it's a very simple matter. And truly, it's a very simple matter. And what is it? Honorable uh, Chair, before I became IGP, nobody prophesied about me. <laughs> now, my IGP, everybody is prophesying about me. I have no problem with it because I'm a public figure. But why should it be such that? You found something, God have revealed something to you and you want to share with me. You have to make it a showmanship and tell the whole country that I'm about to die. Which of course I'm not afraid. Because the only thing I'm afraid of is birth. Because if you don't want to die, you shouldn't allow yourself to be birth. So once I have been born, I'm going to die. So as for death, the only thing I can do is probably become a friend of it so that he can treat me with some leniency. <laughs> but the point is that you go and make such an announcement across the whole world. And I have a wife, I have children, I have a parent who is alive and have family members who will be going to the market every day thinking that they will don't come back. Imagine they come to say that you travel from Accra to Kumasa in the first half of the year, there will be 1,000 accidents and almost about 1,000 people will die. Imagine what will happen. So the only point we are saying is that we don't know what language God speaks and who interprets it for who. But the point is that if God speaks to you, and then you go out there, find us the same God to give you guidance as to how it should be communicated. That will not affect the life of individuals in a manner that will put them in fear.